Welcome back to our uh, Harley Davidson shock shootout where we were comparing the Legend, the uh, Olins, the K-Tech and the Stadium rebound only shock options for the Harley Davidson uh, twin shock motorcycle. Uh, this video should be an hour long but I'm going to do it as quick as I can. So we use a uh, Maxwell series dynamometer, shock dynamometer here, uh, which works very well. Uh, this is a typical dyno curve here. Uh, the force, uh, positive compression direction and negative uh, in the rebound direction. And then on, the, on this axis, we have the velocity. This is a very nice curve uh, of a couple runs on a shock. We see a gentle climb up in the compression so as the shock is cycling faster and faster it gives more resistance to the compression and then as the shock is cycling faster and rebound like down by the bump rubber and after a big hit we get an increase in the support force here so this is an example of a of a nice a nice curve so we're going to plug in now to the uh computer here and uh pardon my quality stand here so this is the k-tech shock um, and then what you're seeing in all these different curves is minus 36 on the rebound adjuster and then i close it minus 32 28 minus 24 minus 20 minus 16 12 8 4 and then shut on the rebound adjuster and we plot each of those curves so it's a great snapshot of how the shock is working so we see the rebound curve is kind of flat it's curving a little bit so the shims are okay there but what we're seeing here is the first blah, six seven clicks the thing's doing nothing hardly anything and then the last four clicks is where all the adjuster is and then we see a huge step going from minus four on the clicker to zero so that shows us there's a weakness in the taper of the needle they, they've got a good one, but it's not great. Um, and then in the compression direction, we're seeing the shock build compression as we're closing the rebound, which is a side effect in some models. And here we see the curve dip at, uh, at about 10 inches per second. And there's that's a two-stage shim stack in there. The first stage is opening, blowing open here, and then the second stage is building. So that... It's not a perfect nice curve there on the on the K-Tech unit. Um, so yeah, that's, we, we're going to rate these all in uh, afterwards at the end of the video, but that was pretty interesting to see there. So the next one we're going to look at is the Legend. Uh, they ran the Legend a couple of times here, two different shock models. This was the better curve of the two. So the Legend only has six rebound click options on a dial. And we see they're not really consistent, but I like the curve. It is building down and growing in, in, uh, in strength as the shock speeds up. And we're getting no change basically in the compression. So it is purely only a rebound adjustable shock. So adjustability is okay. The curve is good uh, and no, no compression change. And uh, we're going to step down to the Olins here. So here's the Olins. Um, the curve is not what I like. I like it to curve the other way. So this shock is stronger at low speeds. And then uh, if we look at a linear relationship, it almost falls off a bit at high speeds. But we are getting some compression uh, increase, which is kind of a nice thing. When you wind the clicker in on that shock, you like to see it get stronger in compression. If you can, a little bit and rebound. But again, a compression rebound shock is available. This is purely a rebound only shock. So that, that is a byproduct of adjusting the rebound. But I see great resolution. Every from minus 40, you probably can't see that unless you zoom in, minus 35, 30, 25, 20. Every five clicks, that shock is giving us a pretty linear change. Not a huge one, but a linear change. And again, I don't love the curve wish it kind of dipped down the other way a bit but but pretty darn good and now we're going to look at the stadium and the stadium kind of surprised me for a canadian made shock i love the curve here 
and look at that resolution, that adjustability. I couldn't have drawn that better uh, if I was, you know, if I was trying to draw the curve, like with a pen and a paper. I, start, I started at 40 clicks out and that shock has 50 clicks. So there's beautiful resolution through there, especially in this area here. It's still pretty darn linear and I got a lot bigger spread than the old ones, a lot bigger control. And the curve shape is beautiful. And we're getting a little bit of a of, of a compression improvement too. So that's a that's a pretty darn darn good curve. It's actually my favorite of the group. Now we're gonna look at the stock one. That's the that's the stock uh right hand side one which is it's garbage there's nothing going on i don't even think there's oil in that shock absorber it's the the cheap one on the right hand side and here is the stock curve on the left hand side so shims are popping open and then the shock is dying in here and then it basically comes apart at high speeds where it probably uh, uh cavitates and 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 falls apart so uh, speaking of cavitation, um, we have, I'll post some more videos on actually the shocks in operation, uh, where we, where we notice some, some big, big issues, but we're going to sneak over here. I printed this off. Uh, it's just my impressions. Uh, the adjustment re response, I said the stadium was the winner. The Olins was a pretty close second. The legend, um, it had nice resolution there and the k-tech was finished up in fourth and then the stock please believe me any of these four shock absorbers here are so much better than stock it's crazy so they're all winners but i had to kind of do this for my own impressions i i i joked that the stock's about position 20. acoustics the olens was super quiet on the dyno the stadium was very quiet the K-Tech, I could start to hear some noise, and the Legend is just cavitating like crazy. It's not a pressurized shock. It's an, a, it's a, it's a, just an oil damper. And the damping curve, I rated the Stadium at number one, which was, was the shape of the curve down. Legend had a very good shape. It was a close second. Uh, Olin's was good, and it had some compression resolution, and the K-Tech uh, came in fourth here. And then here's the price. Canadian uh, for a pair. KTEC is uh, cheapest at thirteen thirty seven. Stadium a close second, thirteen fifty. The Olin sixteen and a quarter, and the Legend is over seventeen hundred dollars. And then the stock, they have a few different options there for stock. Um, so yeah, then I just had uh, uh, here the 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 point awarding system that I came up with. And the results. So I'm going to keep posting the dyno, actual shocks running on the dyno, and then probably the fourth video is going to be um, going to be uh, taking the shocks apart and looking at them internally. So hope you found this helpful and uh, shoot me any of your questions. We represent and sell all four of these brands with pride, and we'll guide you through your choice. Thanks so much. Sorry for the long video.